Good day. This is Coach Paul back with another video on the Lightning Academy. This is step one, how to get a new TronLink Pro wallet address for USDT. And yes, we are suggesting that you use TronLink Pro as this is directly connected to TronScan. This is very, very important. All right. So as I said, we are trying to do this because we're trying to set you up that you can purchase TTT without failing. All right, so let's jump into this. So in the address bar, yeah, you are going to type in tronlink.org. You're going to navigate to that. It's going to open up the website. Then you are going to choose your um, either your device or whether you are on a browser. I'm on a browser, so I'm using it on a PC. So I'm going to go to Chrome Web Store. It's then going to open up. I'm going to say add to Chrome. I'm going to say add extension. You'll see it's downloading the extension file here. And then it says adding it to Chrome. All right. Now, in some cases, it will not pop up. That's why they say you can manage your extensions by clicking in the extension tools menu. So how you would do that, you see there, it showed me the pop-up, but it's not showing on my extension toolbar. So what I need to do is go there, click on that little puzzle piece, and now I click on the little drawing pin. Now it will be available. So now I can open it. Now I say create a wallet. I just go down and I say agree, no more reminders. Now I'm going to label this wallet. So I'm just going to say PC Tron link. Well, let me just, sorry, just Tron link pro. And then it's going to ask me for a password that I'm setting up with this. So as I said, please, you need a piece of pen, a piece of paper or a notepad and a pen. You need to write this down. So I'm going to enter in a password here now. And you obviously want to make sure this is something you're going to remember. Because you cannot um, recover your um, wallet unless you have these details. Um, so please make sure you have it written down for future references if need be. All right, so make sure it's uppercase, lowercase numbers, and it must be more than or less than eight um, characters, more than eight characters, sorry. All right, so wallet created. Now I'm going to back up my wallet. Now you just need to enter your password just to confirm that it's allowing you, you allowing the site to let you do this. All right, so please write down the following words in the correct order. So it's going to give you 12 words that you need to correctly then tell the system when, once it asks for back in order of what those words are. So right now, as you can see, it's going to give me those words. I'm going to reveal them here. So you push on backup. And then you say view mnemonic phrase. All right, so now I'm just going to write these down. Just bear with me. All right, once you have got all your words written down, you will then say already backed up. When they mean that, you can copy it or you can scan it on your phone. But obviously, I wouldn't suggest that because someone could get all of your PC or your phone. But those are ways of doing it. But I'd rather you write it down in a safe place and keep it um, in a safe place. So then you say already backed up. So now you need to tell this what word 10 is. It's asking you which is word number 10. So it gives you an option here. Obviously, you choose it and you say next. What's word number seven? Next. What's word number five? Next. So as you can see, in some cases, it might ask you for all 12. Um, in some cases, it will just spot ask like it did to me now. All right. So now we want to create a USD wallet address. So we see 
we only have TRX available here for now. So we need to now add USDT. And there we go. It does come up. It's the Tether one, the one on the, the Tron blockchain. We then click on plus and it's added to the display. So now if we go back to assets, we will see it is here. So if you want to click on it, you click on it, you click on receive, and there is your um, USDT wallet address. So you can just copy that. And then you want to go over to a notepad of some sort and you just, there we go. All right. So we just want to label that just so that you know. All right. So that is step one complete. We have our TronLink Pro set up. It has a USD wallet in it um, and we have the address. All right, so next is step number two.